Children who enter school with poorly developed speech and language are at a significant disadvantage. Rather than wait until these children fail, new research shows they can be identified and helped earlier. I think for many years we as professionals have waited far too long before we've identified children's special needs. Uh, we've been waiting for some kind of time when the child might be mature enough to give some kind of diagnosis after which some kind of remediation would follow. There's clearly enough evidence now to suggest that we need not to wait until children have failed but we can identify risk signs and risk signs for poor language and literacy are absolutely there and they're evident and they're in the oral language system. Language intervention in the early years has the potential to improve the educational lives of many children. Problems with decoding and problems with reading comprehension are both common and both depend in different ways on the substrate of oral language that the child brings to the task of learning to read. If you trace back to earlier in development, what you see is when those children come to school, they tend to have poorly developed vocabulary and poorly developed command of the grammatical aspects of language. So those difficulties with vocabulary and grammar can be identified really quite early and really action should be taken at that point rather than waiting till those children have got reading comprehension problems. That's it. Let me close that. The Nuffield Language for Reading project involves 15 schools and feeder nurseries across Yorkshire. We decided to trial an intervention where we would start earlier actually in preschool in, in the nursery class and we'd start working with children who entered that class with poor language and we'd uh, deliver a program which was actually 30 week in duration, it would cover nursery and the two first terms of reception class and the components would be principally work on uh, speaking and listening is that critical for everything in the classroom, not just reading, uh, vocabulary development and the development of spoken narrative. The stranger gives Jack five magic beans for his cow. The team from York University found that language intervention can be successfully delivered in early years settings by trained and supported teaching assistants. Jack shouts, help! His mummy runs to the beanstalk and chops it down. The giant falls down. And Jack and his mummy never see him again and live happily ever after. So that was really good, Morgan. You held up the end of the story, didn't you? The children that I've worked with have found that when you ask them to retell a story, they've got word finding difficulties, they can't find the words to express what they want to say. But then by putting the vocabulary into them, you're giving them the words, you're building on their expressive language. And just to see that develop, He's just absolutely amazing. What's she on there, Keisha? Swing. Could you sound that out for me? Swing. 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 Fantastic. Good girl. It is important that, that the, the interventions and the teaching practices that go on in school are evidence-based, but clearly it's also vital that that they work in, in the school setting, that, that they're feasible, that, that they can be delivered. And I think linking theory and practice very much involves a reciprocal relationship, and I think that's vital. So we can say, this is what we want you to do, and they can say, fine, that won't work. But you know, if we do it like this, we might be able to get the children engaged. That's essentially what, what we have to do. You, you can't do this thing in isolation. And tell me a story about these three pictures. Can you tell me what's happening? And while you tell me, I'm going to write it down on here so we remember it for next time. Is that OK? So you tell me your story. He's putting his clothes off. He's getting in the bath. And then what? He got out and got a towel. I've seen progress with the children, real progress you know, because I've had them from nursery at three and a half, which to start with, I was quite sceptical, and I just thought, oh, you know, these children are too young. But then after a few weeks of working with the children, they just loved it. They loved just having that attention. It's built on the social skills. And then I've followed them right through to the end of reception, and now they've gone off into year one, and with the phonics and the storytelling, and I just feel like I've made quite a difference and quite an impact on their lives and I feel like I've changed their lives. If there was another
the picture there. What do you think he might do next? Go to bed. Go to bed. What, in his towel? His pyjamas. His pyjamas. So in this one, he might be getting into his pyjamas and getting into his nice warm snuggly bed. Yeah. Okay, do you know that was a good story? We have the data that we collected after the 30 weeks of the intervention and um, we know that these results are quite encouraging and really exciting for us because they basically show that the um, intervention has been successful, quite successful in um, improving the language skills, the oral language skills of the children. In addition to this, we could also already show some carryover effects for literacy skills, which is actually also quite encouraging. Mm -hmm. Certainly the size of effects of the intervention that we've so far found are really, in some cases, very large and likely to be of real educational significance. But we need further data to confirm or refute that, that belief. In reality, that's what many schools need, is something that they can take and say, right, we know that this works, now we want to make it work for us. And I think that's potentially what this kind of research will lend itself to. So we can say, well, this works, now let's take bits of it, you know, and see which bits work best in our environment, in our setting, with our children. And I think that's what the aim is. Ooh, uh, yeah. Yeah.